Hope you enjoyed the footage of Dinosaur Jr. Uh, I'm going to have some more at the end of the video. Uh, John, with no H, from the Digital Gramophone and I, uh, checked out the bands uh, at Neighborhood Theater the other night. And, uh, you know, Easy Action opened for Dinosaur Jr. Hadn't seen them in quite a while, so that was a great, great time. Um, and uh, John Brannon, uh, who used to be the lead singer for uh, Negative Approach, uh, joined him on the last track of the night, uh, which was awesome. Um, we weren't sure who that guy was, but he was he was quite the imposing figure uh, in his band. And uh, so, yeah, and then they, they played, uh, what is it, TVI, uh, which is a great track. Uh, cover um, of the Stooges. So, man, good evening, and uh, stick around for some more footage. Um, got just a few pickups here I'm going to run through. Um, so the first is a 7-inch, and um, had had some good luck with 7-inches lately. Um, and this is in repo, just milling around, and every now and again I'll go through what they have up front and uh, where they keep the used seven inches and uh, you know the, the better stuff and uh, one of the guys from anti scene was in the shop I forget his name but uh, he drops off a lot of their records and, and uh, stuff to sell it's pretty much their home store um, a lot of GG Allen stuff the crazy shit um, they dropped off a bunch of seven inches and so the punk section filled up and in the back the punk section was this record uh black skies um aqua dogs and family man seven inch on serena from 07 uh on white vinyl this is a really cool find uh, i saw this band at the milestone here in charlotte uh, a few years back they were awesome uh female bass player rocked um and it's uh, on the heavier end of the rock uh, but uh, I, I bought a sweatshirt from them uh, really dug the band uh, I don't think they had any any music with them for sale just uh, just shirts and stuff but uh, so I was really stoked to find this um, fairly rare seven inch from Black Skies really good band from here in uh, North Carolina up in uh, Chapel Hill um, so I was happy to find that uh, jumped into Tip Top the other night after they posted some of the stuff they had gotten in and uh, grabbed this um, Portis Head uh, 10 inch of the song Cowboy. So you got Cowboy on side A and the instrumental cut of it on side B. Um, it's an original UK uh, pressing. It's a really, the cover sucks, but uh, it's a really nice press. Of, uh, of this and I, I as soon as I got home I spun it three times um, such a great track um, my friend Lee was kind of laughing because I showed it to him and he's like man it's kind of weird to listen to someone scratching on a record while listening to a record but uh, yeah uh, great Portishead uh, find there um, and then keeping with the trip hop theme uh, picked up this double album, uh, which has been one of my top probably five albums of all time. Um, I've had it on CD since it came out. It's uh, Thievery Corporation, The Mirror Conspiracy. Um, I think this is the reissue. Uh, double album. Gatefold. And I think the guys are these guys are from DC. I could be wrong. Um, they just played Charlotte recently, um, but it's, I think it was the same night as Russian Circles, so I didn't I didn't make it to that obviously. But um, and they play Asheville quite a bit at the Orange Peel, and they've gone to a more uh, I don't know reggae vibe over the last few albums. This album um, is real laid back. Um, gorgeous album, uh, female vocalist, uh, singing in French and 
this is a good one for the ladies. Uh, let's just say I am undefeated when putting this bad boy on. Um, so, also, tip top, uh, picked up uh, this 12 inch, another one don't really see ever, uh, Butthole Surfers, uh, the Hurdy Gurdy Man. Uh, so side one's got uh, Hurdy Gurdy Man and Barking Dogs, and the side two's got the Hurdy Gurdy Man Remix by Jim Melly. Um, really dig the Butthole Surfers. They're freaking crazy. Uh, this is a really cool um, label. And it's dead mint. I don't think this has been played much. So Luke at Tip Top had bought a huge... 90s collection and this is from i think yeah 1990 on rough trade um and it's been filtering in to the shop ever since for months uh, never gets old um this stuff really hard to find um and then uh picked up a few uh jazz records um on a collection that came in uh up at uh, noble records Got to go hang with Dylan for just a little bit uh, the other night. The first is uh, Harold Land, A New Shade of Blue on uh, Mainstream Records. It's an original. Oh, the year, I think it's 71 maybe on this. Um, yeah, I love the Mainstream label there. And uh, really happy to find this. Harold Land records don't pop up a whole lot. And um, Buster Williams is on the bass. He's a badass. Um, Billy Hart on the drums. Yeah. Great, great album here. Um, Bobby Hutcherson on vibes. Can't go wrong. Um, and one I'd missed out on probably four or five times in auctions before, so I was really stoked to find that. And then grabbed a couple of these nice uh, reissues that have been put out over the last few years. Uh, Joe Henderson, The State of the Tenor, uh, live at the Village Vanguard. This is volume two on uh, Tone Poet. Uh, so this is with Ron Carter and Al Foster. Great performance. And, uh, of course, now i got to track down volume one. Um, one of the, the only things with the jazz, a lot of these uh, come out in volumes and you have to buy both to get what you could get on one CD, which is about my only pet peeve with vinyl. Um, and then this uh, this one's a great, great album. Um, as Rob said, a uh, major brick in the uh, Blue Note uh, shelf. Kenny Drew, Undercurrent. Um Classic records, pressing, uh, stereo press. This sounds wonderful. Um, very, very stoked to have this. Uh, I'll never own a copy of an original of this because I don't, I don't, I don't roll like that. But um, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, Hank Mobley on tenor, Kenny Drew on piano, Sam Jones on bass, and Louis Hayes on the drums. Major one for the collection here. Um, Pretty damn good sounding reissue. So that's everything I picked up. Uh, hope everybody's well. Stick around for more Dinosaur Junior footage. Peace.